So let's discuss on the area solution under chemistry. Uh, my name is Minkar Chan, I am a Microsoft Most Valuable Professional. Solution. A yes, solution is a homogeneous mixture of one or more solutes dissolved in a solvent. Whereas the solvent, the substance in which a solute dissolves to produce a homogeneous mixture, that is called as solvent. And this is a solvent and this is a solute. Solute, the substance that dissolves in a solvent to produce a homogeneous mixture. So, solid plus liquid gives solution. The combination of materials to create a solution includes liquids, solids and gases. But dissolve in a liquid or in a gas. The main requirement is that the items must be both be either polar or non-polar or it can be both non-polar to readily mix and form a solution. Here is a typical example of polar and this one is non-polar. It is possible for polar and non-polar materials to form a solution in some special cases. Now we will talk about liquid in a liquid. Alcohol and water molecules will mix evenly together to form a solution. This is because they are both the polar molecules. The molecules are spread throughout the solution but yet they do not chemically combine to form another substance. So molecule and liquid are randomly arranged and take the shape of the containing CR. Molecules in different liquid may mix up easily because of the random and loose nature of its arrangements. I am trying to pour two liquids into a bar. Here is some solids in a liquid. The typical example is uh, for the previous example you can go with uh, water mix up with uh, milk. Simple. Over here uh, salt with the milk. Some solids can dissolve in a liquid to form a solution. So, the typical examples are salt in water or sugar in water. Automatically, it will start merging. The other one is gas in a liquid. A gas can dissolve in a liquid. For example, your soda. You are drinking a soda, Coca Cola, or something like that, right? It is gas which is with a liquid. Since ammonia is a polar gas, it will readily dissolve with water to form a solution. This is ammonia with water. They will form a hydrogen bond. Here is some of the example I want to show you. Gas with the gas is air. Gas with the liquid is carbonated water, which is your soda and something like that. Gas with the solids absorbed chlorine or charcoal. Liquid in liquid, acetic acid in water. Liquid in solids is mercury in silver. Solid into the liquid is dye in water. Solid and solid dye absorbed on fiber surface. These are the typical examples. Let's move on to saturated solutions. What is saturated solution? I am trying to add lot of solute into the water. Unsaturated solution, it will more, more solids will be getting dissolved. At one stage, if you add continuously add solute, no more solute will get dissolved. That's called a saturated solution. And over here is a super saturated solution. It will form crystals. Add crystals grow. A super saturated solution. If the solution is there and it is completely dissolved, that's solution. If you got a little bit of things, that's called a suspension, and everything got into the bottom. That is called a precipitation. We got a lot of uh, plus 2 intermediate physics 3D videos with us and it is an 8 pack DVD. You can buy it from our websites. And apart from this we got uh, child chemistry videos with us. You can buy it from our website. And uh, finally thank you and you can call you can uh, for more videos you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can uh, have any questions you can post it in our YouTube channels so that our expert team will answer it. Thank you.